everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm gonna talk about color palettes. More specifically, I'm gonna share with you six color palettes that are gonna work for summer designs. Now, there's lots of ways to find summer colors out there. If you go to Amazon and you look under summer t-shirt designs, you're gonna see all these right here, and a lot of them have colors on there. Uh, I use some of the top selling colors for my six color palettes. Now there's lots of different color palettes out there. There's not only these six. I think these six are very popular, but you can go to something like coolers.co and make your own color palettes or look for summer color palettes or just look online in Google for summer color palettes and uh, find those as well. Uh, these that I'm gonna show you though are optimized for black t-shirts because I think black t-shirts are the ones that sell the best. And I'm also gonna share with you uh, CMYK colors because I think you should be uh, designing in CMYK in Affinity Designer, but if you don't have that ability, I'm gonna share with you the hex code as well. So lots to see in this video. I made all of this in Affinity Designer, so we're gonna look at them, and I'm gonna use the same design with different color palettes so you can see them. So let's get into Affinity Designer right now, and I'll show you these six color palettes. All right, so here we are in Affinity Designer. You can see I've used Affinity Designer to make these mock-ups. Uh, they're using fonts on here and rectangles and just everything. So I'm not going to show you how to build this in Affinity Designer. I'm just going to show you that this, these are the colors and I'm going to use this same design for all six so you can see how, how the colors work and how they look in like a uh, vintage sunset right here and how they look on letters when I kind of do those letters. You don't have to do it in this style but a lot of times you'll see this on uh, t-shirt designs where they use one color for each letter. You could come in here and just select all the, all the colors I mean all the letters with one color right like this sometimes that that works better instead of doing it but i'm just going to show you how it works with them uh separated like this how they work on black how each letter looks like on black might maybe this might be too dark for you but you might want to choose that and so on so uh with that out of the way let's go down here this is the first one a lot of times you'll see this color palette where it's going from red to orange and then kind of a lighter color and then a blue on the bottom. So that's very typical for, for the vintage sunset and I wanted to show this as the first one. And you can see it's really cool because uh, you kind of have this idea of a sunset but with the ocean or, or something like that on the bottom, right? So we got these colors. I'm gonna zoom in here and show you. Uh, the darker red here is not just um, magenta and yellow but we got a little bit of cyan and a little bit of black here. So 20, 100, 110, and then here's the hex code. So if you don't have an, the ability to make them into CMYK colors, this is the same color but in the hex code, right? So we're just trying to stay away. You can still use hex colors, you can still use RGB colors, but we just wanna stay away from the ones that are out of CMYK, and these are clearly inside the CMYK group, right? So use that if you have the hex code. And I'm gonna put all of these on there uh, for you. So. Um, you can write these down or whatever you want to do, take a screenshot. Now the next one usually is like an orange, like a darker orange and then a lighter orange. So this is the darker orange where it's 10 cyan, 70 magenta, 100 yellow, and no black, right? And then that's the hex code. And here's the lighter orange, 15, 30, 100, uh, and zero. And then you kind of got this um, like a tan thing going or light gray, whatever it is. It's, Sometimes it's lighter than this, sometimes it's a little darker, but it it has the a little bit of uh, magenta and more yellow and less cyan. So this one I'm using 15, 20, 40, and no black, right? Uh, and this, this one usually varies, but uh, this is the one I'm picking for this uh, one. You might see this as a different color sometimes when you're looking at uh, other color palettes, but I think this one could work. I like it just a little bit darker because it matches some of this darker one. And then you have the blue, um, bluish green here. You got cyan 70, uh, magenta 15, 40 yellow, and 0K. So here we go. I'm going to show you all of them together. Let me move them there. You can take a screenshot there. Um, and this is just the first of color palette. But this is one that's really, really popular right now. So I think it works really well, especially for Vintage Sunset. Like if you don't want to do it with the letters, I think the Vintage Sunset right here works really well. All right, so for the second one, I went a little bit more bright. So this is the brighter one. A lot of times this one's used for like school and the school with teachers and kids. Uh, this one's just a little more fun and bright. You can see some of like brighter pinks and darker pinks and like neon yellow kind of 
style. So this is what it looks like. And let's look at all of them here. So you can see this one uh, is just magenta and yellow. So kind of on the opposite end of the orange where it's 70 magenta and 30 yellow, more pink, more magenta than yellow. And this is the hex code here. Then we have an orange here where it's um, a little more yellow than magenta, but almost the same. So uh, 40 magenta, 65 yellow, and that's what we got here. And then we got kind of this, uh, what do we call it? Just a kind of a light green bluish, um, 50 um, cyan and 30 yellow, and that's it, right? And then this one's just yellow, like a muted yellow, 70% yellow cyan. And this one's more magenta, but a little bit of cyan and yellow. So 10, 70, 10, and zero on this one. So kind of a fun color palette, again, more for kids and uh, school and things like that. And I think this can work for teachers as well who teach young kids, but this, this is a fun one. Uh, and you can see what it looks like here, kind of more neon uh, 80s vibe here. I think this, this works really well too on black because it kind of shines out on black. It kind of has that neon 80s look. So that's my color palette number two for summer. It also works for 80s if you want to do do some uh, 80s retro stuff, 80s t-shirts, 80 co 80s costumes. I think this color palette could work. All right, so th number three, I went a little darker on this one. So sometimes you want, you know, a color palette that's a little darker on black and that's what this one is. So let's go here. You can see um, kind of darker blues and greens and oranges. So kind of still playing off the rainbow colors, but uh, let me bring it in here. So here's the blue I'm using 80, 30, no yellow, no black. So 80, 30, 0, 0. Again, that's the hex code right here. This green here is 70, 20, 55. Uh, and that's the hex code. And this orange has a little bit of cyan. So 15, 40, uh, 100. And then this one is um, more magenta, but 30, 85, 25 there. And this one's an interesting one. Uh, it's 0, 50, 35, 10. So um, kind of, kind of a red peachy. I don't know what you call this color, but it's, it's more magenta, more red. So um, take a look at this. This is how it kind of works here. And this is what it looks like with the vintage sunset. Kind of a different one for a vintage sunset. Usually the vintage sunset has like a really light color and these are kind of all dark. So um, kind of fun, makes your stuff stand out. Um, I've seen this being used on Amazon as well. So I thought I'd show it here where it's a darker color palette uh, as opposed to the really bright one that we just showed. This one's kind of a darker one. For my fourth color palette, I wanted to use this one right here. And this one's kind of a lighter one, but I'm adding some of the, the greens back in and then using a pure white. So sometimes you can use that and that makes it really stand out on black. So take a look at this uh, summer vacation. I, I kind of like this with the, the green and the pinks and the orange, but um, I'll show you what it looks like here. It's kind of a fun one. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of popsicles for some reason, um, but we got this here, uh, 40, 20, 35, zero. Got that. Um, this one right here, these two are kind of similar colors, but it, they, they kind of play off each other as well. So we got 0, 55, 50 here, and then 0, 35, 80, this orange here. And then we got 0, 45, 30. So not that much different, but a little kind of lighter version of this one to kind of play off of that. And then we got the pure white, just FFF or 0, 0, 0 um, for CMYK. And you can see what it looks like here. This is a nice fun one. It has a nice, uh, nice tropical feel, I think, and it plays well. It just has like kind of that watermelon feel, um, light watermelon feel with the pinks and the, and the greens. And the, so I think this can work really well on some summer designs. Again, you don't have to have every letter a different color, um, but you can, and that's what it looks like here. And I think this gradient looks really good. You could kind of swap this out too. So you could, you might want to put the darker, pink up here and the lighter pink here, it doesn't matter, but um, this is the way I chose to do it. Okay, so my fifth one is this one is kind of more of a red, white, and blue, but I didn't use pure white here, but it kind of has that 4th of July look, I think. So we got two blues and two reds and kind of a light um, yellow off-white kind of one right here. So 
Here we go. This one is 85, 40, 20. And this is the hex code. This one's 75, 5, 30. So you can see I, these two are not exact. So I, I kind of played off of this one, um, but I think it works. And then this is just a very light yellow instead of a white. You, you probably could use white here as well. Uh, and then this one's uh, 0, 20, 30 right here. And then 0, 75, 55, just kind of almost a darker version of that. Um, but this one just has a little more magenta and, and the ratio. So this one's more yellow heavy than this one. So I think this works really well. Um, you can see I love I love this uh, vintage look here where the red comes down and then kind of changes into the blue. I think this works really cool and can work really good for 4th of July stuff. Now, if you want to make it really 4th of July, you could make this white instead of off white, but I, I think this works out well. So you don't have that super bright white that's popping out there. So have fun with this one. I think that this is one of my favorite ones here. So um, especially if I'm going to do like 4th of July barbecue and all those kinds of things, uh, I think this could work. Okay, so for the last one, Here's one I kind of went a little crazy here, but I added some greens and reds and blues and orange. So all of them together uh, with the off white and putting that together. And so sometimes you want to put a little bit of each color, more of a rainbow color, and you can see how it, how it works here. So last one, uh, 0, 65, 50, uh, 50, 25, 55. Uh, this one's really off white, but just with a little bit of magenta and a little bit of yellow. Uh, this one's 70, 25, 25, 0. And you can see a lot of times I'm not using much black because I want it to work on the black. I, I use I use it without the black on here. So this one's 0, 30, 100. So it works really good on the black because it's not so dark and it kind of stands out. So a lot of them, if you go back here, you can see no black, no black. This one had a little bit black, but this is our dark color palette, remember? Um, no black here, no black. Well, that one has a little bit of black because that's a darker red. But uh, yeah, most of the times I leave out the the K, the black uh, in the color palette. So this is a nice fun one. It just has all the different colors. So again, this could probably works really well for school, uh, summer times for teachers and summertime for kids. This is more of a, I think more of a kitty color palette, but a lot of times you're going to do that for, for summer as well. So I'll put all of these in my digital downloads. There'll just be a PDF of all of these there. So you can download those for free, absolutely free. So my download won't include this design here. This is just um, for you to see. I don't want you to use this design, but I will put the color palettes on there so you can see all of them together uh, and have the the ratios here and how to how to mix it and how to use the hex colors. So there you go. Those are the six color palettes that I wanted to share with you. Now you can use them for anything, but they, they work really well for summer uh, designs. Now, if you want to see another summer design that I did, I'll put this one right here. It's my llama eating ramen design, and you can use those color palettes on those letters that go down. It doesn't have to be a llama. It doesn't have to be for ramen. You can use that word. Uh, it could be any word for summer. So have fun with that one. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.